About two years ago, I reviewed a dandy little takedown lever action uh, model from Taylors and Company. It's based on a 92 action chamber 45 Colt. Now they've done the same treatment to uh, the larger on the Winchester 1886 style action, which is one of John Browning's first and, and best lever guns he ever invented. But anyway, it's a dandy rifle, and they've got it in the takedown version too, uh, where it comes apart. They call this the Riggs Runner. It's got a it's a wood stock, but it's got a black rubberized coating on it, wood underneath. It's got a matte finish to all the steel out here on the muzzle. It's got a uh, muzzle brake. It's very effective, taming the recoil of heavy 45-70 loads. It comes with a thread protector. If you decide you don't like that muzzle brake, you can take it off, put the thread protector on there. Overall length is 39 and a quarter inches with the muzzle brake on, about two inches less with the muzzle brake off. And for sights, it's got an excellent. Skinner rear sight right here, and it's got a Weaver uh, style rail built into it. You can put a forward mounted scout type scope on it if you want to. Got a half octagon, half round barrel, fiber optic front sight. Uh, your uh, uh, Skinner sight is adjustable. You can change it to uh, uh, get exactly on the load where you need to. Got a four shot tubular magazine, and this magazine for takedown, I'll show you how it works. Works really, really slick. Flip this little lever up here. You thread out the magazine tube. And one thing I like about that, if you've ever had a uh, cartridge jam under the lifter on a lever action, it's real handy to be able to remove that mag tube and uh, get that jam undone. I've never had it happen on an 86. Had it happen on the Marlin uh, 94s and the Winchester 94s. Anyway, you can pull this, pull this mag tube completely out if you want to. You don't have to for taking it down. You have the action open a little bit. Pull that mag tube out. Once you get it out, you twist the two pieces. It's got interrupted threads comes off of there, and it makes it compact for carrying. Uh, they also sell a uh, handy little tailor sells in their accessory line a handy little carry case for this, where you can put this take down, where you can put it in a backpack or or stow it on a plane or boat or whatever you want to, a little bush plane, anything you want uh, for getting it out in, in your hunting area where you need to if you need something more compact. Put them back together is just as easy. Just slide your mag tube in there, thread it back in, and you're set to pop. Anyway, we're going to shoot a little bit, show you how the uh, different levels of recoil are on a gun like this. Like I said, the muzzle brake is very effective for taming the recoil on this little jewel. It's a handy little rifle that weighs, they advertise it 7.8 pounds, a little bit heavier on my scale, weighed about 8 and 3 quarter pounds. Uh, the trigger pull on this accident got a crisp trigger pull about three and three quarter pounds just right for a rifle like this but 4570 is uh you can get some loads that are about 90 percent of what a 458 winchester magnum is these things will take any game on earth uh here's some uh garrett cartridges for one you know the the 4570 is 142 years old now but it's improved a lot in the last couple of decades um buffalo boar garrett double tap they all make excellent logs that are that are got some world-class power coming out of them. Garrett logs are different, three different levels. Uh, one for the the weaker actions and and in the medium range and in the heavy-duty stuff. But they all use that 420 grain hammerhead, which is an excellent bullet. My favorite whitetail bullet is that Barnes 300 grain. Um, uh, it's a solid copper. Their X bullet. It always expands. It always penetrates. A good inexpensive load if you want for whitetail and hogs. 300 grain uh, Remington jacket hollow point does really well. Of course, Remington still got the 405 grain they've had for years. But there's a lot of good loads on the market now for 4570 where you can adapt the load to what's needed for whatever you're hunting. Anyway, it's an excellent gun. It's available from Taylor's. I think the MSRP on this thing is about $1,450, somewhere in that area, which is not cheap, but it's a good gun. You know, if you compare this to taking a uh, an 86 and have somebody make a takedown out of it, you're, you're about half the price what that would cost you. Anyway, it's an excellent gun. It's uh, available now from Taylor's, and we're going to shoot a little bit, show you how she runs. The first load I shot was the uh, 405 grain Remington. Excellent load, handle most anything, but a Buffalo bore load, the same bullet, 405 grain, a little bit higher speed, got more recoil, but this gun handles it really well. 